getting ready to install the Fiamma awning on our 2013 Casita Independence. We bought it used, it did not come with an awning. One of the things I want to do though is a lot of people have had trouble with the awning coming out the way Casita mounts it because they use pop rivets to hold it to the fiberglass. It seems to work for many, most Casitas, but a few people have had a problem. So I'm going to try and mount it more the way Fiamma and the directions recommend mounting it. So in the directions, they're recommending drilling through, completely through the trailer, putting the bolt through the bracket, rubber washer for sealing, and then on the inside of the trailer, they're putting a reinforcing plate and a nut. So this is how Fiamma is recommending it's mounted. But on a Casita, you can't use the flat Fiamma mounts. So I do have the Casita brackets that I ordered from Casita and they were very, they came very quickly. Instead of using the holes for pop rivets that Casita uses, I went ahead and made some square holes in this bracket so I can insert this carriage bolt in there and, bolt, and attach it all the way through the trailer so to reduce the chance of it pulling out. Since there's no specific measurement instructions from Casita or anywhere that I could find online as far as placement of the awning brackets, um, luckily our friends Mike and Cindy have a Casita, 2015 Casita, and they do have an awning. So I took a couple measurements off of theirs. And what I found out was that the awning bracket on this end was almost exactly nine inches above the window frame. So I put a piece of masking tape marking that location that gives me a good starting point at this end. One of the things I found out while doing this is I wanted the awning to be as level as possible. So I leveled the trailer using the floor inside, but then I came up on the roof and apparently the roof is not parallel with the floor. So I'm gonna, I used the, the tongue jack to level the trailer based on the roof, not the floor of the trailer. And then second, the trailer curves this way so I used the, the level as a straight edge so I could see where the curve started dropping off. And I put a line here, knowing that this is the furthest place the bracket can be and still be on a relatively flat surface, just because it curves downward. So this gives me my starting point for this bracket on this end. The front's a similar situation, but it has a different shape because of the door. But you also have to watch out because the trailer does curve down this way. So some initial measurements that I got off of Mike and Cindy's trailer, this was about four inches. So this gives me a starting point, but this is not gonna be a set in stone location. I'm gonna put the rear bracket on, bolt it completely on, and then put the level on my makeshift um, awning mock-up. And then put the level on it, and that way I can get this position exactly where it needs to go so the awning's level from front to rear. So since the awning itself weighs about 80 pounds, it was going to be difficult to hold it up there and try and get a good location for it. So I followed the guidance of another YouTuber that did an awning install a few years ago on a Casita. And what he did was he used packing material to make something similar size to the awning. So I went ahead and did that. I took a couple 2x4 scraps, put them inside of these two L-shaped pieces to hold it together. Then I marked the support locations by laying this next to the awning itself. And then I went ahead and screwed these on to this cardboard. That way I could easily lift it up and set it on the trailer for positioning.
now that we have the awning hanging on the two end brackets, I'm going to put the middle bracket in place and mark it so it's exactly where it needs to be. I just need to make sure of the position of the awning front to rear so when the lake comes down, it comes down next to the door and not in front of it. This center bracket is off by about a quarter of an inch. So I need to make some kind of spacer to go in there since there wasn't one. At the factory, I believe they just use scraps. They cut it out of the window openings and use those as spacers. This is the center bracket for the awning. And when I trial fitted it, I realized it is a little bit too short to do any support. So I needed some kind of a spacer between this bracket and the fiberglass shell of the casita. So I did find a piece of aluminum stock that appears to be the right thickness. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this off drill a couple holes in it for the bolts to go through and then we'll see how that works. The spacer I made out of the aluminum stock, I just drilled a couple holes in it. Right now I have masking tape to hold it in place while I drill the shell of the casita. Yeah, I marked the holes with a black marker, and then I'm going to drill it out on the ground. It's a little okay. easier. So once I had the awning in place, I took a black marker and marked where the retaining screws go. So even though there's two holes in this bracket, you only put one screw, depending on how much clearance you have on the inside of the awning. And then we took the awning down and drilled it on the ground. It's a little easier that way. Okay, so the, the uh, retaining screws are actually inside the awning tube, so you have to roll it out about a foot so you can get the screws and nuts. In our instance, we have to take the awning all the way out in order to get our hands in there to put the nut and the screw on. I messed up. Um, I guess I should put on the dunce cap. But anyway, I was putting on this lower bracket for the leg, in case you want to secure the legs to the trailer, which is plastic. And I wanted to line the other side up. So I had the leg inside of here, started cranking the awning in so I could get it lined up closer on that side and snap. The leg hit here broke that leverage it off so I did I messed that up so here's the broken one okay so this is what I did I have the leg stuck in there I went to crank this up a little bit closer to the trailer and snapped it off so don't do that that's why that lifts up is to hold it in Now I know why that lifts up. Yeah, there's a little cap on here to secure this leg to the trailer better. So lift this cap up, drop the leg in, and then push the cap back over it and that keeps it from coming out. Do, do not roll the awning closed with that like connected. We're just about finished with the awning install. So all I have left is one more extra um, support bracket that clips on right here goes down here and then we're gonna drill a hole in the trailer um, even though there's two holes in this I think one rivets gonna be sufficient so when you use your rivets make sure you get the trifold pop rivets so they start out like this and then when you squeeze them they expand with three fingers it has a better grip than the pop rivets you get like at Home Depot or Lowe's So Fiamma puts a little plastic red flag 
on the awning to let you know um, if the flag is sticking out, it's not closed sufficiently, and when it's in traveling position, the flag's all the way retracted. So if the flag is not all the way retracted, the awning could possibly come open while you're traveling. To complete this awning installation, you don't have to do this. It's optional, but there's wall brackets that hold the awning legs up. That way you can uh, don't have to tack the awning legs into the ground if you don't want to. They would attach secure to the side of the trailer. Our awning, since it was white, came with these white plastic wall brackets. And right off the bat, I broke the first one. So I decided to upgrade and get, even though they're not white, I got the silver um, aluminum brackets that are stronger than the plastic. So I'm gonna put those on today. The brackets you get from Fiyama come with self-tapping screws, similar to like a wood screw. It's meant to screw into wood or something, solid material. Well, on the Casita, it's just a thin fiberglass wall, and that's obviously not gonna hold over time. So you either need to put some kind of pop rivet that, and a support on the back side, or what I decided to do, I'm gonna use a machine screw, a nylon lock nut, and a big flat washer. That way I can bolt it all the way through and secure it, don't have to worry about it pulling off. So the positioning of these brackets is a little bit tricky because of the curve of the trailer. I had a reference because our friends have the factory installed awning on their Casita. So that gave me a reference. The uh, top screw is 18 and a half inches below this belt line. But if you notice, there's the weird curvature of this trailer down here. You couldn't really go much lower anyway. So that gave me my reference point. So the distance from the door is really going to be dependent on where your awning arm comes down. You want to put this so that hopefully the awning arm is pretty vertical when it hangs straight down. So the positioning of this bracket, I knew I wanted it to be the same height as the other side, so I did the 18 and a half inches from the metal belt line down here. And then I, I used masking tape to mark it. So what I did, I took, let the awning arm hang down freely, and with it hanging freely, that gave me a good position for the vertical mounting location. So I went ahead and marked that here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill that hole. When you're drilling holes through the trailer, you wanna make sure what's on the other side, otherwise you're gonna, in this case, drill a hole in your water tank if you're not careful. So this is where I'm gonna drill the first hole right here. But I'm gonna use my arm in through this hatch to feel on the back side to make sure there's no wiring or anything in the way, which on this case I can feel there's nothing in the way. Although the wiring is close, it's probably about right up here. So you definitely wanna be careful drilling through. After the first hole's in, we're going to put this in. Okay, so now the holes are done. We can just pull the masking tape off. The masking tape also helps chipping out on the fiberglass gel coat while you're drilling through it. Yeah, so these legs you don't want to go any more than a 45 degree angle. Okay, well, we've got the uh, awning installation all done, um, but I do want to give a big shout out to Greg Zimmerman. He obtained the awning for me, which I couldn't find anywhere else. And also he gave me some advice on the installation since he's done a couple of them himself. Okay, if you want to see more of our trailer modifications, click on these videos. If you'd like to see a tour of Mike and Cindy's Casita Liberty, check out this video. And remember the link description below will take you straight to Amazon. Any purchase you make helps offset the cost of making these videos and it doesn't cost you a penny extra.